You see, this issue of many, many ministers of God saying that, uh, uh, that uh, some people do not receive me. I don't know why they criticize me. You are not sent to everybody. Hello, my family. Welcome again to Direct TV 2, bringing to you the truth. Welcome, guys, to this special episode of my video today. And right in today's video, guys, I'm here with the man of God by person of... um. Prophet Joshua Iginla and also the man of God by person of uh, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakim. And now I have to title this um, Prophet Joshua Iginla actually speaking like Pastor Chris because of the insights he's going to be giving in today's message. You see, um, this is like a friendly advice to many ministers around the world, all right, um, to other ministers that always seek validation from, you know, ministers. You need to listen to this. All right. And as a Christian too, don't be a Christian that always seeks validation from many pastors. You Don't be that kind of a Christian. All right. Because this message will inspire you. And um, after the man of God, um, Prophet Joshua again, I'll be right back with the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome, to also speak to us concerning this same issue, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Please watch this. You can be called and you are not sent. He has sent me. Have you been sent? Because there are too many called men of God who are not sent. There are true believers who are called who are not sent. He has sent me. And, and let me say this quickly to every pastor who is hearing me. When you are sent, you are sent to the broken at life. For me, this is a dimension. You must know who you are sent to. You see, this issue of many, many ministers of God saying that, uh, uh, that uh, some people do not receive me. I don't know why they criticize me. You are not sent to everybody for God's sake. Look at Jesus' specific statement of his assignment. He, he said, to, he, he has sent me to the broken hearted to preach deliverance to the captive, to recovery of sight, and to set at liberty those that are bruised, and to proclaim the acceptable year. So you see, to the broken hearted, to the captives, to those who are blind, to preach the sight recovery to them, to set at liberty to those who are bruised, injured. This place, you must know your assignment. If you don't believe in me, it's because I'm not sent to you. I'm not sent to you. I'm not sent to everybody. Why must everybody love me? Why must everybody love me? It's okay for you not to love me. You can even be in this live broadcast and you look at me and say, This is Gila. I don't love this is Gila. Who is he? It's okay. Because I'm not sent to you. Why should you why why should you believe in me? Because I'm not sent to you. Everybody, you are not sent to everybody. There are too many people trying to get the validation of so many ministers, of so many people. You want everybody to love you. You want everybody to accept you. How can everybody accept you? Because you are not sent. You, when you know what you are sent to do, your assignment that you are sent, you stay within the constituency that you are sent, and those people you are sent to will receive you. Hear what Jesus said. He said, I know my sheep, and my sheep knows me, and when they hear my voice, they will come. And the voice of a stranger, we did not hear. When, when you minister as the gospel of God, and people don't hear you, it's because you are not sent to them. If you are sent to them, and they are your sheep, they will hear you. There are people that God has raised, raised me to raise them, that have been around my ministry for over 30 years. And I've seen the ups and downs I've gone to. They have met ministers far above all manner of human beings that have told them, look, don't go, don't dare and, and they And they come back and just smile and say, Papa, they don't even understand that. How, how, my relationship, our relationship with you is a covenant relationship because we, I know, one specifically, one of my sons specifically told me, he said, Papa, I just know you are sent to me and I'm sent to you to follow you. There are people that will not leave you. That will not leave you. So if every minister begins to understand this, that's why no matter how a minister criticizes another pastor, he still sees people following that pastor. And he begins to wonder, I think I hate this pastor. This pastor is not this. This pastor is not that. This pastor is not that. You see, the question they don't understand is that one person is not sent to everybody in the world. Alright my family, there you have it with the man of God by person of Prophet Joshua Igela.
now you see this is an inspiring piece and a friendly advice to many ministers out there that are watching today's video or you know ministers of the gospel who always seeks validation from other pastors you see and then when they are being criticized or you are a pastor that you have been receiving attack criticism yeah, criticism from many people all right this is just like um you know an encouragement to you that you are not sent to all right or everybody all right the fact that someone doesn't accept you doesn't mean that you are not a man of god or you are not a pastor that uh, that god called you all right so i also like you to listen to the words of um the man of god reverend dr chris has he also shared some light on this same topic guys all right i'm really bringing this so that you get inspired all right don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel please watch this family there you have it with the man of god by person of the highly esteemed reverend dr chris or yakilume and also the man of god by person of prophet joshua iginla now you've heard um, for yourself what i'm trying to explain or bring to you in today's video all right not everybody's gonna like you all right now this might be referring to ministers of the gospel but as a christian and as a person you just have to know that this is how it is if everybody likes you whether in your workplace or um you know in, in your house in your, in your compound in your street if everybody gets to like you that, that means there's something wrong the truth is everybody is not supposed to like you all right just like what pastor chris said all right if you if you see yourself where all right everybody talks good about you, everybody likes you you need to check yourself because there's something really wrong all right so the truth is that not everybody will like you and then based on the word of the man of god and prophet joshua Igenla, you are not sent to everybody so if people don't like you all right if people don't support what you do that's not an avenue for you to begin to you know um start thinking bad about yourself whether or not you record no all right don't always seek validation from people they are not the one that called you god called you so focus on what god sent you to do and same thing all right they were not the one that brought you into the world god brought you so focus on what god says about you rather than what any other person is saying about you i really believe you are blessed in today's video and for those of you coming newly to my channel kindly the subscribe button subscribe and if you ever like the view hit the like button like today's video guys and i'll see you in my next video bye